right now I'm manipulating the joystick and I'm going to turn it so it aims at this score that's uh, printed in all these green colors. There's no way to predict what's going to happen when I press this button. There are 30 pre-programmed musical compositions. Now what's fun is as soon as I press this button, there's not even a pause. Instantly, we're going to hear this robotic contraption, which is purposely hidden. And because these pieces last anywhere from 10 seconds to, you know, five or six minutes, you have time to then walk over there and see what it is you've actually put into motion. What's so much fun about this piano is that he's taken all this detritus that was meant for mostly banal purposes, like the innards of an inkjet printer, and he's figured out ways to attach them to the musical strings of the piano so that they can stroke and pluck and vibrate and caress the wires of this instrument into making all of these bizarre sounds. He wants you to see what it is that is making these cool sounds you're listening to. So all of his installations include a strong visual component. So you can literally see the plungers and the propellers and the scrapers. It was so cool with a capital C that it was, you know, like one of those moments where the hair on the back of your neck starts to stand up. And in fact, the experience is such a package that Trimpin, to this day, refuses to allow any of his pieces to be, uh, to be professionally recorded for, um, <clears throat> you know, for easily listening later on. So, Megan, what we're looking at now is another uh, uh, is another cast iron frame with the piano wires. This one is mounted um, on a pivot, like a teeter totter. And as you interrupt uh, a motion detector, it sets it off and it begins slowly rocking back and forth. And that sound we're hearing is the sound of these giant stainless steel ball bearings, like the, like, exactly like you would see in a pinball machine. Creating this sort of mournful sound, you know, it, it sounds vaguely like somebody falling down a long well. And there's a few other pieces from Trimpen in the exhibit, including one. It looks like a framed mirror, just a small framed mirror on the wall and a coin-operated box beside it. And if you drop a quarter into the coin-operated box, the mirror lifts away, revealing a perfectly lit and beautifully preserved Thomas Kincaid painting. It was a gift that Trimpen had received. 